What's poppin' y'all? I'm Zach Leffers. I'm an associate analyst here at Red Door Interactive. And today I'm gonna to tell you the story of conversion rate optimization and A-B testing through GIFs of basketball plays, or GIFs of basketball plays, or whatever you wanna call them. So if you're watching this, it's probably for two reasons. One, because you have an insatiable thirst for never-ending basketball highlights, and I applaud you. Two, maybe it's because someone at your agency or your company has come to you and said, hey, we need to optimize our conversion rate. We need to do some A-B testing. And you're like, I know exactly what that means. Well, today we're gonna turn this to this. But before we can walk, we gotta learn to crawl. So what's a conversion? So every company has goals they want someone to do on the website. The user comes, they purchase something, they click through, they sign up for something. It depends on whatever it is. That's a conversion. Whatever that goal is and that user does it, convert. In basketball, it's putting the ball in the basket. Boom shakalaka. So now we're crawling. Let's walk. What's the conversion rate? The number of shots you make over the number of shots you take. So right now, this year, Kobe Bryant, low conversion rate. So in website terms, it's the number of conversions or goals completed over your site traffic. Conversion paths are really straightforward. So a popular blog might have a link to sign up to receive top content in their email. Really straightforward, point A to point B. But most websites have really complex conversion paths, multiple touch points to try to get users to the end goal. And they're often very well orchestrated in the end to work together harmoniously. So pretty much all websites have some sort of you know, design inefficiencies or user experience flaws. They're going to negatively affect your conversion rate and you may not even know it. So this is where testing comes in, conversion rate optimization. We're gonna optimize. Time to test, A-B testing, let's go. All right, so A-B testing, it's a pretty straightforward concept. You have version A, that's what you have now. You change one thing about it, maybe a jersey color, maybe a font size, maybe the placement of different elements on the page, maybe you remove something from the page. That's version B, that's the change. You test them against each other and see which one drives better conversions. So you run your test, your A-B testing, and ideally you have a winner. Hopefully in this version B, which you can now implement on your site to drive more conversions. Do this in the successive series of tests and congratulations, you have a little baby conversion rate optimization program. And if you're lucky, you'll have so many more conversions. You're stoked, like this kid. Got any questions? Holla at your boy on Twitter, at Red Door. I'm done.